Afternoon everyone, Bassman Strikes here. Today we're heading up the creek for part two. We hit the same creek last week, had some pretty good luck, gonna try it again. So keep watching to see what happens. throwing black and blue chatter baits and this is a let me see I'll tell you what I'm using a seven foot four medium heavy power with a moderate fast action so that should be excellent for chatter baits and I'm using a Gary Yamamoto Zako paddle tail trailer and it's rigged upside down because if you rig it the other way it doesn't cycle properly with the chatter bait blade Right next to an airport, pretty cool. There we go. Look at that, first fish of the day. Little pikeage. He took it and ran. There we go, folks. A little hammer handle. Pike number two on the black and blue. This time with a craw. I switched lures. Oh, easy release. <laughs> a lot nicer pike. Oh, look at that. Oh, easy release. <laughs> he took my bait. Somebody's a shooting. Duck hunters. Oh, 
was taking a piss. Folks, little largemouth. There we go. Nice little small mouth. It's not too bad. somewhere. I don't know what the hell he's shooting at. That's much. That's where I got that catfish last time. Getting bigger. Jesus Christ! Watch where you're shooting! Don't shoot over here! Holes. The f stop shooting. People are. Some other anglers were headed downriver and gave me a dire warning about the area just past this bend. They elected to stay off camera. Needless to say, it wasn't good news. 
Stop shooting! I'm calling the cops! Stop shooting! I'm calling the police! Bullets are hitting by me! Stop shooting! STOP SHOOTING! People are stupid. The gunshots started to move away, so I thought maybe they heard me yelling. So I went up the river a bit more and into Bullet A. That last one, I could hear branches break, so I started to turn around. Just wasn't worth it. That last one, I could hear whizzing, and that generally means it's within six feet. And at that point, I decided to head back to the launch. Hello! Stop shooting! The bullets almost hit me, you... Hello! STOP SHOOTING! STOP SHOOTING! shooting dude stop shooting stop shooting Go home! You're putting people in danger! On the way back, I ran into the people that were shooting. And they said they were target shooting for deer season and that they could do as they please. I informed them they should not be using the wood line as a backdrop, as their rounds were making it across the river, and it was probably illegal to shoot across a navigable waterway, which is essentially the same as a road.
Here we go folks, the pike. After all the gunshots, I got one more. Yippee. When you go out fishing and exploring, you're bound to come across some sketchy and dangerous situations. This incident is the one and only time so far that bullets actually got too close for comfort. Some of the bullets I believe came within 6 feet, as that is the general consensus on how close you have to be to hear that whizzing sound. You could also hear nearby branches breaking and cracking on at least one of the rounds that went across the river. When I got home I called the police non-emergency number and reported the incident and an officer called me back the next day and went to investigate. The officer called me back and asked if I wanted to press charges, but I said that a talking to about proper range and gun handling should be enough. I returned to the river many times after this and never heard another gunshot. That's it for this episode, everyone. Thanks for coming along on the water with me, and if you enjoyed this content, please click the like button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell button. That way you won't miss any upcoming episodes. Bassman out.